right, today we're working on a 2014 Malibu with the 2.5 four cylinder. We got some cam actuator codes. We got a P0010, P0011, P0013, P0014, and P2646. That one's a rocker arm solenoid valve stuck off. There's a good chance that it is probably the actuator for the cam phaser, but we're going to pull that out and check it, and we'll see how it looks. All right, first we're going to have to remove this top cover right here. Got three screws there, it looks like. May have to take the cap off, get that out of the way. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. Look at that. Like it was made for us. that out of the way. Take this cap off. And then over here we have our solenoids. This is your cam phaser solenoid, actuator, whatever you want to call it. What this does, this gives it power. We're going to go ahead and unhook these. We're going to check them out. Just got one bolt here and one bolt here for each. You got an intake and an exhaust. So we're going to check them both out just see how they're performing. If they are performing, we'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. So let's go ahead and get moving. Down in here you got two little terminals and I got a battery, you can use a car battery. It'll be better with test leads, but I don't really have any right now. Well, it's actuating. Give each side some voltage. Well, I guess you'll probably want to ground one side and give voltage to the other, but hey. All right, it still works. All right, so since both of these tested good, we're gonna go ahead and shove them back in. And then we're gonna move on. Pretty sure our culprit's gonna be back here. It's an oil control. It's what sends the oil through the passages. That way, the cam can change timing. Hence the VVT, variable valve timing. Hose under here. All right, 
after we got that uh, intake hose out of the way, we got a part right here, it's the oil valve control, oil control valve, whatever you might like to say. We went ahead and took it off. I went ahead and put our actuators back in. They're bolted up. I can go ahead and plug them back in if I want, but I've got to get my new part here. Bolts in back here. Three bolts is all that holds it in, and one plug. Just pull your red clip up, pop it off, three bolts, slides right out. And then you can bench test it. Here it is on the bench. We have it. As you can see, we got our three bolts in there. Here's what the gasket and the insides look like. From what I'm reading, these are really bad about breaking. So, if you take this out and you're missing either one of these, right here in the top, well, those pieces are now in your valve cover and throughout your valleys and you have to replace the whole uh, valve cover. Yeah. Luckily, that's not what happened for us. So, we're going to get lucky and just replace this part. But first, we're going to test it which I already did, that's why it cut and I came out here. Now the way you test these, you get it up here on your bench, and now I've already looked into all the wiring and everything, center, is, center pin is 12, you got 12 volts there. I checked the plug on the car with the key on, I've got 12 volts at the plug so I know it's not the wiring issue, at least not positive, it could be a ground. I've checked that too, it's not, because also I tested this. I gave power to the center pin, and each side is a ground for each different solenoid, so depending on which one's grounded, it will open or close. So therefore, I put my power on the center, put my negative over here, nothing. No clicking, no noise, no nothing. Same, put my power in the center, and then ground it over here, and nothing. No clicking, no nothing. So therefore, this solenoid is not functioning going to be an electrical part in there something went wrong something melted solder who knows but it's bad so we're just going to get another one of these replace it put it on the car start it up clear the engine codes see if they come back odds are it's probably not going to and your po2646 or 2647 whatever it is will be gone unfortunately the camera died before we finished the job up but it did end up being that control valve it was the one that we showed you last that we were testing with the three prongs. That ended up taking care of it. It got rid of our P264647. They're both basically the same, in and out. Uh, there's two solenoids in that pack, so therefore either one can go bad or they can both go bad. There's all kinds of stuff that can go wrong with those. Luckily, it wasn't a mechanical failure because then it would have shot those parts into the valve cover and well, you would have had to replace the whole top end valve cover. That's not gonna be as much fun. And definitely not as cheap because that would be about 350 bucks just for that one part. So we got lucky. It was just an electronic failure. We replaced the part and now we're moving on. No codes and we're good to go. Well, I appreciate you guys stopping in. I hope this might have helped some of you. If it did, you know what to do. I appreciate y'all and we'll see you on the next one.